Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's lovely to have you here. It's Nev for uh, another pick a card reading here on Rainbow Tarot UK. Um, and today we're doing messages from the person on your mind. And we've got our three piles. Now we can't see the cards, I've left them like this. So we're just going to be choosing with um, our three objects here. So we've got the little silver or the large silver patterned heart, I should say. So that's pile number one. And then pile number two is this like patterned pendant. Um, it's got a little bit of an Aboriginal design, I think, actually. There you go. Um, and then pile number three is my little blue and silver Diamante pendant. So that is your three piles uh, that you're going to choose from. Uh, go for the one that feels right, and I will see you very soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome back. Welcome to this reading on messages from the person on your mind. So you chose to come into our reading today under this uh, silver patterned heart here. Here we go. And I'm going to put that here on my little rainbow so that you can see it uh, in your reading. Let's move it around a little bit. Okay, and we've also got this card. So let's have a look and see what this one says. So it says, oh, love spell, you've been bewitched. You've been bewitched. Okay, interesting. So we're looking, aren't we, at messages from your person. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I think I'm just going to do a little bit of a check-in as to where you and your person are at, and then you can decide whether this pile actually resonates with you. And if it doesn't, it might be that you want to look at another pile, or you maybe want to look at another reading. So let's just do that first of all, and then we'll get the message cards out at the end. Um, because this is a part, obviously, this is a, a reading on messages from your person. Okay, so let's just get a sense of where you and them are at. I haven't pre shuffled any oracle cards, so let's first of all do that. Um, I just want to say, uh, as I always do, thank you so much for checking out my channel, for popping in, for showing support. I really appreciate that. And you know, if you do feel like you want to do that with subscribing, uh, leaving a message, giving me a thumbs up then I would really appreciate that. But let us just see. Just remember as well, it is general. So, you know, if nothing resonates with you, then it might be that it's not your reading because it's kind of resonating with, you know, somebody else that's listening. That is the nature of a general reading. So let us see what is kind of the energy really at the moment between pile number one, uh, pile number one and their person. What is going on for them, please? So we have Dawn of Love and you've been bewitched. Love is rising on the horizon of your life. Oh gosh, okay, this is looking good. So what is going on? So let's see what else we've got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, let's see now what is the current energy for Paul number one on their person? What is going on in the connection for number one? Pile of one on their person. What is going on in the connection? So I'm going to take that one out. Okay, let's see what this one is. I feeling I know what this one is. This is the devil, yeah. So this is the devil. And with love spell as well. Um, um it's interesting. Because when I saw this, I mean, because when you have a love spell, it's like someone's, you know, you've, Somebody's giving you a love spell to kind of manipulate your feelings, isn't it, really? And the devil card is about uh, being chained to something, being uh, chained to something or addicted to something or obsessed by something. Um, so maybe this sort of situation has an addictive quality to it, has a quality where you kind of feel under their spell or they feel under your spell. They feel kind of like, um, drawn to you in some way, um, obsessed with you maybe. Um, yeah, there's a sort of a real feeling here of um, being kind of like under your spell or something like that, under your spell or controlled or manipulated. Maybe they feel a little bit, maybe that might be the edgier side of it because uh, you've got the devil card here. Um, but let us see what is going on there might be some um yeah there might be some manipulation in this for some of you there might be some 
um, self-limiting behaviour going on in it or um, something like that. Or it could just be that they're really, really tempted by you. This could just be that it's like, you know, as a situation that's really tempting you, it's really tempting them, um, that they are really drawn in by it. Just this whole image as well, you know, like it's like a tunnel, isn't it? It's like going into a tunnel, kind of being sucked in, being pulled in somehow. Anyway, let's see what is going on for pile number... Um, what is going on for pile number? It could be a huge temptation, as I said before. So it could be that this is like, you know, maybe this is for some of you like a crush reading or something whereby, you know, you're wanting to know if they really like you. And I would say that they definitely do. They feel very drawn in by you. Um, they feel like you, yeah, they've got you on, you know, you've got a, you, you've kind of put a spell on them. <laughs> something like that, you know. Um, what's that song? Um, you know, I put a spell on you, because uh, you're mine. That one, I don't know who sang that one, but it's kind of making me think of that, really. But anyway, let's see, what is uh, the current energy for car number one and their person? What is the current energy for car number one? But there might be some, with the devil card here, there just might be some, for some of you, there might be some, um, some tricky behaviour or some addictions going on in this connection somehow. What else have we got? Abundance. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is, let's see what else we've got. Let's get the tarot out. So what is currently going on between power and number one and their person? What is currently going on between power and number one and their person, please? What is the energy? What is the current energy? We have the Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. We have the Three of Cups, okay. What else? What is currently going on between pile number one and their person, please? What is currently going on? We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Hanged Man, and this one wants to come out as well, which is the King of Cups. Okay, so, right, and what's at the bottom? The Five of Wands, so at the moment, it could be, and that might be why you've got the Devil card, that the Five of Wands is the overarching energy, which can be challenges, really. So maybe this situation is going through some challenges at the moment, some difficulties, or there's a sense of competition, I feel like with the Queen and the King of Cups, there is deep feeling with the Dawn of Love as well. Uh, there's deep feeling between the two of you. Um, you know, because both these people, both these kids, this Queen and the King, look, they're sort of like deep in their feelings. They've both got their eyes closed. It's like a rapture. It, feels, it makes me feel like it's very rapturous. So it's got a sort of rapture to it. Um, so, and it, it's again, it's kind of this whole thing of being sort of sucked in to to the whole thing like there's a sort of um i feel like these that the two of you are sort of almost maybe drunk in your feelings kind of like why well, you've got the devil card sort of like drunk in love there's a sense of rapture to it a sense of being overtaken by it however it has got some difficulties here because we've got the ten of swords and we've got the ten of wands so it might have been that for some of you you came into separation with this person somebody walked away from the situation with the ten of wands here because the Ten of Wands is a heavy load as well. So maybe at times it has felt heavy in this connection, particularly because you've got the Devil. And the Ten of Swords is like when something is... Usually the Ten of Swords is when you have someone lying flat on their back with ten swords stuck in their back. And it looks like a situation has come to an end. But with the Ten of Swords in the traditional wider rate, right, where somebody's on, their, on the ground with the Ten of Swords, there's always like a little glimmer of hope because you have the horizon. Whereas in this particular deck, the Lightseer's deck, we see someone rising, and also with this Ten of Wands, we see someone kind of independent. So it makes me feel that um, uh, somebody might have walked, you know, somebody might have walked away, and they are now independent of the situation. But also, it could mean that this situation is having some kind of revival with the Dawn of Love. There's some kind of revival going on for it. Um, because we've also got next to it the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning, a tangible new beginning. Now, there might have been a third element, or there might be a third element in this connection here with the Three of Cups. It could be that, really, because that's often what the Three of Cups is about. 
But I think for you and them, with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups kind of like being like counterparts, for some, if you're together or not together, it just feels like there's a strong bond between the two of you. Um, that you have a strong spiritual connection as well. But I feel like at the moment, many of you might be in separation from this person because we also have in between the hanged man where things are hanging, things are literally hanging and there needs to be a shift in perspective, a change of view, maybe, to uh, for this connection to maybe thrive or to, um, for it to start again or to reconcile or for you to be together. There needs to be a shift. And if it's a third element, maybe that third element needs to be removed so that you and them can come together. That might be why you've got the five of wands because there's an element of competition or something getting in the way of this connection somehow. And it could have been that, you know, there was a third element and somebody left because of it and that person is now independent. But there is still this strong emotional link and bond between the two of you. But it's kind of hanging at the moment because... Um, you know, you're still in separation or something like that. But there needs to be a change, a shift um, in in the connection, a change in how you, a change of perspective, really, in order for it to be abundant again. It needs to shift its, its way of doing things, really, in order for you to be abundant again. But whether you've been bewitched with the dawn of love, with the devil, I, I still feel that you and, you and them in this connection are have a this kind of like link really you're still um you're still maybe dreaming about each other you're still hankering after each other you still want there to be love between the two of you, you might be thinking obsessively about each other um but maybe there was some some toxicity to it before um that brought it down or something like that uh, that made you leave or that made them leave but I definitely feel that you both want, both of you now, I think, want a new beginning with each other again, um, for sure. But let us see now. So that's kind of, if that doesn't feel like it's your situation, then you might want to listen to another pile. Uh, but that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So we have got um, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have got um, Gemini and Sagittarius. We've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we've got Cancer, and we have got um, Leo energy. So those are some of the energies that I'm seeing. But let's get uh, let's get out some messages, shall we? So as it is messages from your person. So what messages are there? What messages have we got? Let's see what we've got here. So uh, we have got what messages are from pile number one's person to pile number one. What messages are there? What is their message? What is their message, please, for pile number one? What is their message? Backstabbing, heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. So with the Ten of Swans and the Ten of Swords, that yeah, like somebody might have behaved, and with the Devil card, there might have been some toxicity. Um, this person might feel that, that you've done that to them because so we're asking what are their messages to you. Maybe they feel that they've had some um, heartbreak and pain because of you, or it could just be that in this situation there's been some backstabbing, some difficulties, some toxicity in the connection, and that has led to heartbreak and loss, and that would certainly go with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords here. What else have we got? What other messages are there from power number one's person to power number one? The runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. So maybe somebody didn't really want to commit to this situation. They couldn't quite do it. Well, certainly with the devil energy, that would be the case where somebody is... The devil energy is all about just getting a quick fix, a quick hit of something. Um, and then as soon as they've got it, you know, they're off really. So that could be what has happened in this situation, the energy of, you know... Uh, this situation maybe you felt manipulated by with a love spell here maybe you felt manipulated um, maybe somebody has been um, you know behaved poorly um, in the situation the runner mm. okay so let's get another let's get another message card let's see what we've got here uh, what is the messages from part number one's person to part number one please what is the messages? 
heal, revitalize your heart. And I would think with the two, and it's funny because it dropped on the Queen of Cups here in the Hangman and the King of Cups here. So it makes me feel like, like with the Queen and the King of Cups, um, you know, it's like they are the wisest. They are the wisest because you have the page, the knights, the queens and the king. So these two are the, the wisest within that water suit of feeling. And it makes me feel that now maybe both of you are ready for some healing possibly in this situation. Um, but there might have been a lot of, you know, a lot of turmoil, a lot of difficulty, a lot of pain in the connection uh, in the past. Let's see what else we've got. What other messages are there from power number one? This person to power number one, please. What is their messages? What are the messages, please? We have, I want to be more than friends. Interesting. So maybe you're still in touch with them and they want, or that you are friends, but they want something more. I want to feel that way again. What else do we have? Um, I don't react when people mention you. And then we've got, I will wait for a sign from you. That all sort of makes me feel that, um, you know, this might be a reconciliation situation. You might be apart from this person. Uh, but you've already had a connection with him, but it's come into separation here. Let's see. We will be together again. And that would certainly go with the King and the Queen of Cups. You know, there's this strong link. I think both of you feel a very strong link with each other, even if you're not even speaking. And for some of you, you might not be, it might be a no contact situation, you might not be speaking with this person, but there's that sort of invisible link somehow between the two of you. Uh, let's see if we can get out. I'm going to try and find another, some more tarot cards. So what messages, what is their message to pile number? We've got the tower. Okay, what is their message to pile number one, please? What is pile number one's person's message to pile number one? The emperor? What is their message to pile number one, please? The ten of swords. I think we've got the ten of swords again, haven't we? What is their message? And the queen of pentacles. Okay, so I definitely feel like... Um, I mean, they could be having a little bit of an epiphany here. And that would go with the King of Cups. They could be having, because that could sometimes be the Tower, having a little bit of an epiphany where they want to get control back in the situation with the Emperor here. Because the Ten of Swords is got ruin on it. So it might be that they feel that this situation or being apart from you has kind of ruined them, has not been good for them. Um, and with the, the Matriarch and the Queen of Pentacles here, Queen of Pentacles is always somebody who is, um, it may be that they've seen you now as somebody who's really independent and strong um, and sort of together, but it can also be about stability and it makes me feel that this person is maybe wanting stability again with you. Uh, maybe it was a massive shock, um, the situation coming, you know, falling down. It was a huge shock. It was painful. And now they're beginning to want order again with the emperor. They're beginning to want, um, yeah, they're beginning to want to, um, you know, create stability again. Because these are both cards of stability here, the emperor and the queen of pentacles. And with the word ruin underneath it, I just feel like the breakup, the ten of swords breakup, uh, which is often the ten of swords, you know, with somebody on that, you know, having those ten swords in their back, has led to their ruin and they, they don't really want that anymore. Let's have a look and see, because it's been very uncomfortable for them. Let us go with some of these cards. Let's see what we've got. Any more messages for part number? Any more messages for part number one from their person? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. What else have we got? Any more messages? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Pay attention to the red flags, and that would go with the devil. So I feel like this person definitely wants the messages, that they definitely want reconciliation, reunion, but they might have some fears around that based on what's gone on before. They might have some fears, they might have some worries and stuff. They might feel in some way that you, that you manipulated them or that they weren't treated fairly. That could also be the case. 
Um, but there's a strong pull. Nevertheless, there's still a strong pull towards you. Let's go one of these ones. What other messages do we have for pile number one and their person, please? What are the messages from pile number one's person to pile number one? What are these ones? This is free message. Okay. And spiritual message. All right. Let's get some more. Let's get one of these ones. What other messages are there for pile, from pile number one's person to pile number one, please? What do we have here? Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Yeah, they might be looking back fondly on you if you're, you're in separation. They might be having a lot of fond memories of you and want that, to, you know, want there to be a reunion again. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So they might want to work on the connection. They might have realised that they sabotaged it or somebody sabotaged it and they want to rebuild it again. Let's have a couple more of these before we end. Um, let me just get these. So let's see. What is the messages from part number one's part number one's person to part number one, please? What are the messages from part number one's person to part number one? So this one is only time will tell. Okay, and then we have balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges and we'll have one more here's the messages from pile number one's person to pile number one we've got two here actually Let's see what these are so this one is secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on so maybe if you're in separation from this person it's just to let you know that they are still very much interested in you and then we have soulmates. My goodness, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. That goes with the king and the queen of uh, cups here. That They believe that you and them are sort of counterparts. But anyway, pile number one, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, leaving a comment or giving me a thumbs up. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two, welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing messages, aren't we, from the person on your mind. And you came into the reading under uh, this little kind of like um, pattern pendant. It's kind of, I think it's got an Ab Aboriginal design, actually. So I'm just going to put it here for you so that you can see it there. And we've got a card. Let's see what this card is. And it says air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So some of you might be. Uh, talking about somebody who has air, sun, moon or rising in their chart or you might be an air sign um, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius there, okay but it could be about communication because air often means uh, air signs I always uh, equate with communication and um, so it might be that this connection needs some communication or communication is the key to it in some way but anyway let us get out some other cards. Just to say thank you so much for joining me again, as I always do, for my pick a card readings. Really, really appreciate that. Um, and if you feel like you want to just, um, you know, uh, give me a little thumbs up or a comment or subscribe or anything like that, would really help me and benefit the channel. So thank you so much. Um, just to say it's a general reading. So, you know, sometimes the messages don't resonate. It just means they're for somebody else. It is general. You know, lots of people listen. So not everything is going to, you know, chime with you maybe. Uh, but if the whole thing's off, then, you know, you might want to listen to another pile or maybe another reading because I've got lots of readings on my channel. But anyway, let's just ask, first of all, um, what I'm going to do, I think, first of all, is just to get a sense, like I did in pile number one, of general energy between you and them because then you'll get an idea even more if this is the right power for you. So I'm just going to get a sense of what's going on between you and them before we look at the message cards which I'm going to do in the latter part of the reading. So let's see, so what is actually going on between pile number two and their person? What's the energy between pile number two and their person? Ooh, I feel like it's that one which is Concealed power, give birth to the wonder of revelation. Concealed power, okay, so we've got two. Hmm. Okay, so let's get something else out. Let's get some, um, let's get one of these out. 
what is the general energy um, uh, of between power number two and their person? What is going on between power number two and their person, please? What is going on between power number two and their person? I feel like it's that one. I feel like there's two here. So I'm going to take the two of them. What have we got? We have got, um, this is the moon. We've got the moon, yeah. And that's interesting because you've got it under concealed, haven't you? The moon is all about um, things being hidden. So this might be a hidden situation. There may be some confusion in the situation. Maybe it's, what I felt with the concealed power is that there's, because you've got this couple standing here, uh, very together, but it says concealed power. So I feel like there's a, a sort of like um, an unsaid, maybe an unsaid depth of feeling between the two of you, or maybe an unsaid attraction, or and that could be why you've got the moon as well here, because it's not seen, it's not out in the open, maybe. So this is the Seven of Swords. Oh, now that would be, mm, so maybe also something tricky has gone on in this connection, because you've got the Seven of Swords and you've got the moon. And both of that is about concealment, doing things under the radar, um, being a bit sneaky. Um, yeah, and that, you know, so there might be something going on in this connection that's either under the radar or that's been tricky or that's a sneak, something sneaky has happened. Or maybe it's just that there are feelings that are under the surface um, that are not being revealed, that are... Um, yeah, the, where it's all kind of hidden, really. It could be that as well. So let us have one more. So what is going on currently between Carl? Number two and their person, what's the energy between... Um, so it could be like a crush situation or a hidden attraction or a three-way situation or something like that. What have we got here? Ideation. Yeah, you could be having a lot of um, sort of ideas, fantasies about one another. There could be a lot going on in the head. There could be a lot of thoughts going on, imaginary thoughts, ideas, all going on underneath the surface, something like that. And with this, all this red here, it's just making me feel there's a lot of, all the red here. It might be there's a lot of a concealed attraction and passion between you and your person at the moment, really. And it could all just be an idea at the moment, uh, something that's an idea uh, that's not uh, real for some of you. But anyway, let us... Let us get some uh, tarot out here. What is the current energy between? But it could also be that something tricky's had to gone on in this situation. There's been some, maybe some deceit for some of you. Um, maybe things haven't been out in the open. Maybe there needs to be some communication to clear things up. Something like that. That could also be going on. So, what is the energy between part number one? Not part number one, between part number two and their person currently. What is the energy between part number two and their person? So we have the Ten of Swords. Um, we have the World. We have the Knight of Cups. The Two of Cups, uh, Two of Pentacles rather. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the King of Swords. And the overarching energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So it could be that for some of you, this is a situation um, that is... I feel like somebody wants to make an offer here with the Knight of Cups. We've got an envelope here. You've got the Red Rose. I feel like somebody wants to make an offer, a romantic offer. Um... Certainly, but they have it. They might be going through some doubts about that because we've got the two of pentacles. They might be sort of one minute really keen and then the next minute doubting themselves in some way. So my sense is that somebody we've got the knight of pentacles as well. So somebody definitely wants to come toward you. I think in this situation, it might be slower or it might be quite slow because they've got some doubts and some they're, they're kind of weighing things up if you like but they're, the romance is there the feeling of romance is there for you it could be that it's a revival of something because we've got the ten of swords which is usually a situation that has died but risen up this is this card shows the rising up in the ten of swords which you don't always get in the traditional 
ten of swords, you normally get somebody lying flat on the ground with ten swords in their back. But then there's always that little glimmer of hope with the light in the background when you look at the traditional rider weight. But this one shows somebody clearly rising up. It always reminds me of the judgment card, actually. So I feel like maybe something is reviving. There's some kind of revival and it's moving into like a new cycle because the world card can often mean the ending of a cycle and the start of a new cycle. So it makes me feel that maybe this person from um, a split is wanting to uh, revive a situation, wanting to reconcile a situation, wanting to come forward in love. But there are doubts or maybe there are two, two choices or things that they've got to weigh up in some way. Um, and for some of you, I don't know why I'm just getting this intuitively, it might involve children in that. It might, there might be children to consider in this situation, just for some of you. Uh, the King of Swords tells me, again, it's, the Swords is all about communication. So I feel like this, that, um, this situation needs good communication. That's what's going to move it on. That's what's going to... Um, that's what's going to bring it out of maybe a secret feeling at the moment into something real. Good communication, honest communication between the two of you. Um, and this person might be thinking about how they're going to communicate with you because we've got a lot of air signs here. So they might be currently thinking about how can I communicate with this person? How can I tell them how I'm feeling? Um, pages is about a new beginning as well. So it's like a new tangible start with you. But there are some fears or there are some choices that need to be weighed up here. Um, something like that. So I think for a lot of you, it could be something where you've had a where you've had a split with somebody, but they still have feelings for you um, and they want to reconcile. They want the situation to rise up and be good again. Um, for some of you, you might be in separate parts of the world or in separate geographical areas with the world card here. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's, quite, it's hidden at the minute. The, the, the feelings are hidden. They're keeping their feelings hidden, maybe because they've got these things to weigh up, these choices to make. Um, and they'll, they, they definitely want to come towards you, but it might be quite slow in the way that they do that, really. So if that doesn't sound like your situation, then you might want to listen to another pile. Um, it could be as well. The other thing could be this, this person has come out of something or you've come out of something, um, they've, they're, in, they're in a new phase of their life, and part of that means that they want to reveal how they feel about you, that they've caught on to feelings for you, and they've still got some fears, but they want to move towards you um, slowly. They want to you know, tell you how they feel, um, and they want a new beginning with you, a tangible new beginning with you. But they have, I feel like they're, they want to be honest and true uh, in this connection, really. But let us see what um, let's see what messages we've now got from them to you. Um, let's get one of these ones. Let's get one of these ones. Let's see what we've got. So what messages? Let's have a look at the messages now. What messages are there from pile number two's person to pile number two? What are their, what is their message to pile number two? What messages have we got here? I like that one here. What's this one? Engagement ring. Do you know what? It's really interesting because in between this pile and pile number one, when I was uh, arranging all the cards and stuff, this one fell on the floor. And in my head, I was thinking, I bet that one comes out. <laughs> and it did. It says, higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union completion. Okay, so, right, there we go. So we've got engagement ring with all this red again. Yes, yeah, so I feel like red, red, red roses. There's a lot of passion. I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person, there's a lot of chemistry, they feel a lot of attraction towards you. Uh, what else have we got? And they might be considering commitment. Uh, what's the message from car number two's person to car number two, please? What is the message that we have? What is the message? Sword and rose. It was funny, we've got another red rose, haven't we? Clarity and truth, revelations, honour and protection, determination. That reminds me of the King of Swords, you know, because the King of Swords is a very honourable... Um, Court, you know, a very honourable king, uh, a very wise and honest king, always willing to do the right thing. So maybe this person is saying that they want to be honest with you, they want to be true for you because they have, they care a lot about you. Yeah, so they want the swords is clarity and the rose is love. 
They want to be truthful uh, with you, clear with you, because they have a lot of love for you. Let's see what else we've got. Let's move that up a little bit. I might put that there. Move that there. I might move that one there. Okay, so we've got some room. Right, okay, so let's get some more out. Let's get some of these ones. What have we got? Uh, what other message cards are there for pile um, pal number two? Spurs into pile number two. What have we got here? The timing just wasn't right for us. So maybe that's in the past at that point. Maybe the timing wasn't right for you at that point. I wish things could be different. Okay. What else have we got? For pile number two person to pile number two. I will wait for you for a sign from you. Okay, and we have, I want to feel that way again, and the last one is, oh my goodness, I love you, wow, okay, so I thought this person definitely does, I think this is, sort of confirms it really, I think they might not be saying that, You might. they might not be able to be open about that, but they definitely feel it for you, 100% really, especially with the Knight of Cups, um, and these cards here, for sure, and all this red, uh, there is a lot of feeling for you. And here we have I love you. So let's get some um what's, what cards here? Let's see. What messages do we have from par number two person to par number two, please? What is the message from par number two person to par number two? What is their message? Honesty, now could you believe it? Relationships need trust. And that's right by the King of Swords, which is all about honesty and trust and being honourable. And then you've got the sword and rose, which is about Clarity and truth, um, honour and protection and determination. This person is an honourable person. They feel like they want to... Be, they might not have been in the past um, with the Seven of Swords here. They may not have been honourable, but they want to be honourable with you now, for sure. They want to do the right thing. It's important for them that they do the right thing with you. Let's get out some tarot here. What message do they want to give? What is their message to power number two, please? What is their message... So part number two, what is their message? Oh, that one. Which is the hanged man. We've got, do we have that? No, we have the hanged man in number part number one. We have uh, the Prince of Cups. Um, we have the Princess of Swords. Okay, so that's the Queen of the Prince of Cups in this deck is the King of Cups. And the Princess of Swords is the, um, let me just, I think that's the Page of Swords, actually. What else have we got here? There's a lot of swords again, isn't there? And then we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, yeah. So they definitely feel very happy around you. They want, they feel like you will give them an excess of happiness here. The Prince, uh, the Prince of the Swords or the Page of Swords tells me that they're still very curious about you. Um, the King of Cups, they have strong feelings for you because you've got the King of Swords here and the King of Cups. The King of Cups with a film with filmmaker here. Yeah, and the Hangman, it could be that they know that they need to change their perspective somehow. Maybe if they were the Seven of Swords, maybe they're tr tricky energy before... Um, that they need to change somehow, that they need to be more honest, more truthful, they need to shift their perspective in some way. Uh, and that's what they want to do. They definitely want to be more honourable. And that was definitely, yeah, the Seven of Swords. And this one was, I can't remember what this one was, this was the Moon, yeah. Um, they, 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 they sort of want to get out of confusion, I think, as well. So if things are confused, they want to move out of confusion into clarity they want things to be clearer and more honest between you for sure let's get out some more what have we got here what other messages are there between pile from pile number two's person to pile number two romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so this come out in pile number one as well um and then soulmate my goodness this yes this is your soulmate and then free yourself it's time to take back control of your life Okay, let's have one more. Then we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. 
when I saw that card, I immediately thought, I immediately wanted to say, getting to know each other again. And then engagement, my God, we have engagement here. So maybe this person is really, really wanting, what they really want to say to you is that they want to deepen the commitment. They really want to commit to you. Uh, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment because uh, you've had that twice now. Let's have a couple of these ones. Uh, what other messages are there from Paul? Number two is person of power number two. I've got three here. I'm going to take these three. What are these? This is healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. Um, then we have uh, paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. My goodness me. And then we have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. I definitely feel for a lot of you, you know, like if you've come into separation, this person still really, really loves you, still really thinks a lot about you, still looking back on you nostalgically, still wanting to be with you. Um, but there might have been, with a free yourself, there might have been some manipulation in it before, or some trickery. And it might be hard for you to trust them again, but they desperately want to tr you to trust them again. And they know that they have got to be really honest this time around. Let's get some of these out. Um, this, please can you tell me what is the message from part number two's person? So part number two, what is the message? We've got one there. We've got that one. And I feel like this one as well. So let's see what these ones are. So this is, let's have a look at that picture. I think they think that you've got you've got control over them. And with this snake again, there might have been some snaky, tricky behaviour before. Um, somehow. This says power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So somebody might have felt manipulated in the situation before. Um, and the free yourself might be that, you know, you've got free, to, free choice here. This person, I think, would like definitely like to be with you again. And they want to be honest. They seem as if they are um, honourable. But it might be that that might be quite hard for you to uh, trust them because of what's gone on before. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay. And then we have this one, which is trust again. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatic, automatically transform. So part number two, my goodness, that has been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up or leave me a message. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, part number three, welcome. Welcome to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we, um, what... Um, uh, what messages are there from your person to you? What messages do they want to give you? Um, and we have come in, or you have come in, under the blue and silver little Diamante brooch here. So there we go. That's your messages uh, for messages from the person on your mind. I'm just going to put that there. Hopefully you can see it there. Uh, and this is our card. We don't know what it is, so let's take a look. And it says someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So that might be... Uh, we'll see how that plays out. So there could be a third element in this connection, or it doesn't have to be a person. Actually, it can be a third thing, something getting in the way, really, or something, um, yeah, sabotaging the connection in some way. But let's have a look and see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, I'm going to look first at what the general energy of you and them, what's going on for you and then, and then we're going to get the message cards out at the end. Um, so I just want to say I haven't, obviously I haven't pre-shoveled any oracle cards so let's do that and as I do that I just want to say thank you so much as I always do for checking me out and coming and having another pick up reading on my channel um, I really appreciate that so if you feel like you want to um, uh, subscribe you know hit the notification bell a thumbs up a comment all of that is very much gratefully received um, I just want to say you know it's it's just a, it's a general reading lots of people listen to it so, you know, if all the messages resonate with you, then fantastic. But, you know, sometimes that doesn't always happen because it might mean that there are messages that are resonating with other people. So um, just, you know, try and be OK with that. And it is timeless, so it's good for whenever you're finding it. But let us begin. So what is the, you know, what's going on currently between pile number three and the person? What is the general energy before we look at the messages? What is the general energy, please? So let's have a look at this one. What's this one say? So this one is energy of love. 
Behold the world through the eyes of love. Okay, beautiful, beautiful card actually. Energy of love. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Oh, uh, what else is there? So let's see, what is the general energy between pile, um, between pile number one, not pile number one, sorry, between pile number three and their person. We have faith, oh, love and faith. Okay. Beautiful. Right, okay, let's have a look at these as well. What is the energy that's currently between pile number three and their person? What is the general energy? What's the current energy between pile number three and their person? I've got two here, I'm going to take them. So we have um, this one, which is the two of pentacles. So that relates to the two of pentacles. And then we have this, which is the chariot. The two of pentacles and the chariot. Mm. I feel like with you and them, there's, there is love. There is love in this connection, for sure. Um, I feel like it's quite a spiritual love as well. Look at all this purple. It's reminding me of the crown chakra and the green here. It's like a heart connection. So I feel like... There is love here, but this is, there's all these moons here, so there might be some confusion in it at the moment. Um, and the Two of Pentacles, it could be that, you know, things are being weighed up at the minute. Um, and funnily enough, in the Chariot, although the Chariot can talk about transport, it can talk about speed, often the Chariot is about keeping a steady course and not allowing yourself to be veered off into two different directions because you have the white sphinx and the black sphinx often with the chariot card and they can go in opposite directions the the, the um the skill of the charioteer if you like is to keep it on an even is to keep it centered really so i'm just wondering and that might be why you've got faith you know this situation although there is a deep connection and love something might be challenging it something might be testing it something might be causing it to have causing you or them to have doubts about it in some way. That could be what's going on. With the chariot, you might be in different places as well. You might have to travel to get to each other. That could be causing problems. Or there could be something just causing challenges in the connection, even though there is a deep love and, you know, deep love between you both. Let's have um, some, some tarot, first of all, as well. So let's see what is currently going on. We have the Nine of Cups, beautiful. What is currently going on between pile number three and their person? What's the current energy? We have oh, the Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. What is currently going on? We have the Sun. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands, my goodness, there's a lot of passion here. And the last one is the Eight of Swords, right, okay. And the overarching energy, funnily enough, is the Chariot. So there you go, you've got the Chariot twice. It could be that the challenges are that you're kind of like not together, you're not geographically together. That there's some sort of issue with each other, with getting to each other, because we've got this Knight of Swords rushing to get on his bike really when the knight of swords is also a card of speed so it could be that there are some transport issues or some issues with getting to each other with seeing each other um but there's certainly a lot of desire for speed a lot of desire to come together um but i just feel like maybe with the eight of swords because the eight of swords is about being stuck so maybe the connection is stuck for some particular reason, but there's a huge amount of attraction um, and uh, love uh, in this in this connection. You've, you're both a wish fulfillment for each other with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups shows me that maybe there's a lot of romance. There's a lot of feelings of romance, um, but it could be that the, there's some something some sort of distance or something getting in the way of you getting together quickly. I think the desire is for both of you to get together quickly, 
but it might be that you are stuck or hindered in some way from that actually happening. And it maybe it's because there are things to weigh up and consider with the Two of Pentacles here. Maybe there are choices that need to be made. And it could be around someone else, you know, around something or someone else. Maybe somebody else is, maybe one of you is committed or coming to the end of a, a connection, but you want to start a connection with each other, that kind of thing. But the sun is such a positive card and you've got the page of wands and the knight of wands that there's a huge amount of attraction to each other, a huge amount of chemistry in this connection. I think you both feel it's mutual and you both feel that you um, make each other or have the potential to make each other really, really, really happy. Uh, the page of wands uh, tells me again that if you're apart, they want to message you or they want to be beginning with you or they want to be beginning with you. The Knight of Wands is a, is a card of passion, of chemistry, of attraction, of getting what you want. So I feel like there's a lot of, um, oh, there's a lot of impatience maybe from you and your person to get together, to be together. There's a lot of drive for that. But there's also frustration because somehow it's stuck. Uh, there's some stuckness to it. And it could be, like I say, a geographical situation that you can't physically get to each other quickly, even though the desire is there. Um, so you could be, you know, loving each other from different countries or different places um, or something like that. But, you you know, it's just such a burst of, um, yeah, it's just it's it's just a, a really um, a connection that make you, makes you both feel absolutely Fantastic. I feel like there's a, just an explosiveness in both of you to, to sort of be together. Um, you know, sort of a, a real kind of feeling of excitement. There's definitely a feeling of excitement in this connection for the both of you. But with the same time, there's this like this frustration. I've just got to see what's underneath here. That's poking out to me. What is that one? Temperance. Yeah. So that's the balance. So they're wanting, I feel like this, this connection is going to balance both of you out. You both feel it's going to balance you out. It's going to, um, you're going to be the right person for each other. Um, yeah, something like that. But it definitely feels very, very, very positive. Um, but there's some something that's, sort of, you know, something that's kind of making it feel stuck. What is that? Let me just get some, why is it stuck like this? What's, what's holding it up? What's the stuckness for part number one in their person? What is that stuckness there? Why is the Eight of Swords there? What is that stuckness? Four of Cups. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords. Yes, this is like might be something where by... Um, Something that you've already been in a connection with this person and there's some hurt in this connection with the five of pentacles and there's someone, maybe there's a stuckness because maybe somebody feels much more positive about the connection than the other person does. Maybe um, there some something got in the way of the connection before. Maybe it's somebody was unfaithful and that's caused a lot of unhappiness and hurt. And maybe they're just thinking that it's stuck. Maybe they're more, I feel like they might be more enthusiastic maybe than you. And that you're sort of like not interested. Maybe they're thinking that you're not interested. So they have all these kind of feelings for you. But maybe they're thinking you're not interested. Or maybe there's been some hurt. Somebody's feeling out in the cold. Somebody's definitely feeling out in the cold. Seven of Swords. Somebody's done something tricky. Somebody said, did the Seven of Swords come up here as well? No, that was a chariot. I think the Seven of Swords come up in another uh, reading. But the Seven of Swords, it shows tricky energy. Definitely. So somebody might have done something here and that might be why there's this kind of element of stuckness. Maybe there's lack of trust or trust issues in the connection. Something like that. And that could be why it's not moving forward. Um, maybe somebody um, with the Knight of Swords here did something and then, you know, uh, got out of the situation quickly. Maybe they did something that was wrong and then they got out of the situation quickly or something like that. But it just makes me feel that this person is not happy with, because this is like a slow card, progressing slowly, whereas all the other cards are around speed. So um, this person maybe is um, frustrated with the fact that things maybe aren't moving forward with you as quickly as they would like, because they have all this attraction and passion 
for you. Now, if they had just been the Knight of Wands, I might have been a bit worried because that's a bit of a player energy. But you've got the Knight of Cups as well. So it makes me feel that this person does have feelings for you and they are very attracted to you as well. But there's a stuckness there because there's some history to the situation which has led to um, hurt, feeling out in the cold. There's been some distrust. There's been some lying maybe, some deceit. And now somebody is not that... You know, maybe somebody's not that keen to jump back into it. It could have involved a third party, really. But anyway, if that doesn't sound like your situation, you might want to listen to another pile. But let's now see what the messages are here. What messages do we have? We also have uh, the cups, that's Pisces energy. Um, and funnily enough, I've got a message coming up here on my uh, computer here. So maybe they do actually really want to message you with the Page of Wands. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Knight of Swords, we have um, Aries, uh, no, sorry, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. The Sun is Leo, Page of Wands. Um, again, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Sorry, did I say the Knight of Swords? Sorry, it was Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. And the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands would be um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the Eight of Swords is Gemini energy, Chariot is Cancer. So those are just some of the uh, star signs that I'm seeing. But let's have a look to see what message is coming out for, for you from pile number. So there's definitely from their part, their point of view, a strong, strong attraction towards you and they want to come forwards towards you. Certainly romantically, you, you are a wish fulfillment, uh, certainly. Let's have a look here. So what is their message to pile number three? Healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, love and life. So maybe this time around they want it to be a healthier connection. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got here. What else do they want to say? Passion. That would. I mean, that's what I've been saying really with all these cards here. Um, insane chemistry, sparks, and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. Yeah, there's a lot of chemistry and attraction. I think uh, for both of you. Now this one is just left itself here so I'm just going to take it I wasn't going to take three but I've got oh I've got backstabbing heartbreak pain and separation and loss deception and lies a shocking attack well that would make sense with when I saw the seven of swords there because maybe there has been some heartbreak and pain and separation and loss in this situation because somebody uh, did something that they uh, you know did something wrong they stabbed the other person in the back they weren't honest or truthful and that's what's keeping it stuck to the huge frustration, I think, of your person. But anyway, because they still feel any, you know, all this passion and uh, attraction towards you. But obviously, you know, if they behave badly, it's, um, you know, it's difficult to come back from that, isn't it? But let's get some other cards out. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, what messages does pile number three's person want to say to pile number three? What are their messages? Expectations have realistic expectations. All right, okay, let's put that there. Expectations. Let's see what else we've got. Let's have some here. What other messages are there? From pile number three is person. So, pile number three, please. I want to be more than friends. So, now, maybe for some of you, you're still in contact with this person, but you keep your barrier and your boundary up, and they're, they're saying they want to. They want to, you know, they want to have more again, or they want to have more with you. Um, finding out the truth crushed me. All right, so that could be for either one of you, you know, because with this backstabbing card and the seven of swords that came up before, um, you know, maybe uh, obviously that really hurt for you or for them or for both of you. I'm so attracted to you. Well, that would go with this card here. There is a lot of attraction, definitely, between the two of you. I hid who I really am from you. And the last one is, I regret lying to you. Okay, so again, we've got the reference to lying and um, not being honest. So let's get some more out. Let's see what these ones are. Uh, what message is there from pile number three? Use person to pile number three, please. Listen to your intuition. Okay, that might be a message for you, pile number three, to listen to your intuition in this situation. So we got what the messages are there. Karmic relationship. Okay, so there might be lessons that you need to have learned in this situation. With a karmic relationship, um, you know, it's often a cyclical thing, isn't it? Where you, 
you know, you have very intense highs and then very low lows, and you can often get yourself caught up in that until you learn the situation, you know, the lesson that the situation is trying to teach you. And in a karmic situation, often what happens is once you've kind of learned that lesson, you often don't find yourself wanting to go back into that situation. It's different from a um, a twin flame or a soulmate type connection. It's like it's there to teach you a lesson, and then once you learn that lesson, you tend not to find the same attraction to that person. So it could be that this is a bit of a karmic thing going on here, um, and you're still needing to, both of you are needing to learn a lesson from each other. There's still opportunities to learn and grow from each other. Uh, what else have we got here? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Right. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I feel like maybe your person is more into, possibly into the connection than you are. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. It might be in this situation that this, if this was a, like, a bit of a karmic connection, maybe you have kind of learned from it, but they haven't. They still want to repeat the cycle. Maybe something like that. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. My goodness, so maybe they want to offer something committed to you. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Goodness me. There you go. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. What are the messages from pile number three's person to pile number three, please? What are their messages? Photograph. This, I think this one's come up in every single pile. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. So it would seem to be that this person might be nostalgically looking back on you. It's something from the past. Healing heart. This one came up in pile number two. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Passion again. Insane chemistry. Did we have insane chemistry before? Yeah, look, this one says insane chemistry. Like each other equally having fun. And it could be for some of you that this is a, 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 a real uh, relationship. There's a lot of physical attraction. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. But for some of you, it might not be that good in terms of, just for some of you, it might not be a healthy choice or it might not have been a healthy choice um, in the past. Um... That might be what's going on here. And this person wants to reignite that cycle again. But maybe with all these cards, they are, maybe they have learned, maybe they have um, developed themselves, and maybe they are looking for something a bit more committed this time around. But obviously, I would say you need to use your discernment with them um, and make sure that, um, you know, they, they prove themselves to you. I think that's probably what I would say there. What else do we have? Do we have any other? I might have one more of these. Actually, I shall have some of these. So what um, what messages are there from pile number three? This person to pile number three. So we've got these two. And I feel like we've got these. Well, we've got five there, actually. Let's have a look and see where they are. So we've got um, friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. It could be that this was a, a relationship like, based on... And physical attraction and maybe this time around if it's going to, to be different it, there needs to be something more to it something of a greater depth to it that might be why you've got calling your soulmate engagement there needs to be more of a commitment to it rather than it being as being cyclical which is what may have happened in the past um, romance keep its arrow strikes well that would definitely go with the knight of cups so this definitely person definitely wants to have a romance with you again this is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Then this is power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And this one is time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I feel like maybe this was a cyclical situation based on attraction for a lot of you. And this person is feeling that they want to take it now to the next level. Now, they might have already done things that make it difficult for you to forgive and take them back, particularly if there was a third element. But I feel like this person is um, feeling that they, they would like to do that. But I think I, I would say in this pile that you need to be discerning with this person um, and you need to make them really prove, as I said before, that they are capable of having a long-term committed situation. And, that, and that's why probably why you've got time 
You know, you need to give it time. It needs to develop over time. That might be where you've got the friendship card where you have to build something with them um, and kind of hold off on the kind of maybe getting involved again with them physically too quickly until you've built something with them and you can tell uh, that they want something stronger with you or something more solid or stable with you. Uh, but they certainly have a lot of passion and attraction for you, that's for sure. But anyway, pal, number three, that's been your reading. I hope you liked it. If you have, do consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment. But otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now.